Greetings and good day, or good evening, or good night, everyone, and all of you listening uh, and on this channel from the universe of uh, YouTube and uh, wherever else, if I turn this into a podcast later. I'm coming to you today, live and direct. This is Chief Yuya, and um, I'm appreciative for so many things today. But uh, one of the things that I'm highlighting today is um, the ability to spot a fraud. You know, there was a comment left on uh, a video that I did recently. Uh, well, actually, it was a podcast. It wasn't even a video. Who was the most powerful, Arisha? And there was a conversation had by some individuals. And since then, not only were they blocked, but then the person who they were commented, commenting under, he removed his comment. But, um, you know, I had put that that podcast up speaking about who's the most powerful, Arisha. And unfortunately, as so often it happens, individuals did not realize or they didn't listen. They didn't listen to see that. Um, uh oh, okay. Emails coming in. They they didn't listen to see that the actual podcast, the video was a reference to the podcast. So it was just a snippet. So when in the title, who was the most powerful, Arisha? I had all of these people in comments correcting me, and as she was the most powerful, and you don't know the most powerful, and didn't, didn't even listen to the podcast. Or some asking questions like, well, who is it? Give the answer. It's in the podcast, but you didn't listen to it, right? So people tend not to listen. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a general thing. And as a result, unfortunately, they get wrapped up in situations that they shouldn't be wrapped up into. Or um, because they lack the scholarship, they, they can be very, very easily fooled and manipulated by people who think they know. So one of the comments that someone made under was like, they called me a scam artist. They said, this guy... They, they said, I suspect the person running this, this channel, this page, is a scam artist. And the other one jumped in and said, yeah, I, I think so too, from when he's talked about giving Ogun sperm or something like that. I almost lost my SHIT. So, you, I mean, you're not going to be on any of my platforms disrespecting me. I'm not into the the online effeminate we're going to go back and forth and I'm, I don't argue in waking life and I'm definitely not going to argue online, but I'm not going to stand for any disrespect at all. You can, those vibes, you come with that immediately, you're getting blocked, period. There's no, you know, you're going to have to, for some people, you got to learn a, a more intelligent way and respectful way to express what it is that you're saying. And here's the most important thing. A lot of times some of you guys stay in the dark. And those of us who've been in this way for a long time who know stuff, we don't tell you things because we don't like you, period. We don't like, like we don't like you as individuals. You make yourself unlikable with like no one asked you your opinion. You know, it's, it's a difference if, if it's another scholar or if it's another priest or an awo who's been in the tradition as long as I have. You know, and the truth is, if they had something to say to correct me, it wouldn't happen publicly. Only fools do that. You know, only unlearned neophyte fools come into someone's space. And I've said this a million times before, and it's almost like become a mantra now. This is not the first time I've had to address this. You know, but only a fool jumps in someone's space and starts correcting them. It's, it's very rude. It shows that you have no real upbringing, and you certainly have no elders. You know, if, and there's been times where I have jumped in people's inboxes and, and said, hey, I saw this. You might want to check this out. Even maybe gave them some references. You know, and did it in a way that was respectful because what we're here to do is to build up the culture and, and build up this way and this truth and this science, not to tear people down, especially when you can't tear them down because you're not even qualified. So you're spitting things that don't even make sense. And if like so many people jumped in to tell me who the most powerful Risha was, if you listen to the video, I mean, to the podcast, which is referenced, I had to put and I had to change the title of the video to say, um, full full broadcast at the Orisha.com. Why? Because of the comments. But if you looked at the description, it, there was a link in the description to the podcast. And at the end of the video, it says, if you want to listen to the full one, go to, but people don't listen. But they have so much to say, right? So what I'm getting at is that that's what keeps people in a lot of trouble because 
they close themselves off from learning anything. They're not teachers themselves. They're not priests to Awo themselves, but they're regurgitating something they think they know. But how do you come into a learning environment and refuse to learn? When you come into a learning environment, you're going to hear something new. You see, and just because I may say something that you didn't know before, it doesn't mean I'm wrong. It means you just didn't know. That's all. It just means you didn't know. And now you have an opportunity to evolve your understanding as opposed to concrete yourself in what you think you know. So people were responding with the fairy tales. And I'm going to get into that in another video. The metaphysics of Ifa. Because people are associating the concepts of Ifa with the truth of Ifa, and often they're the furthest thing from each other. And I'll give you a quick example. I'm not going to get into that because I'm I got another treat for you on this video. But the truth is, it's like sex. I can speak to you about the concept of sex, but until you have sex, you really don't know the truth of sex. You only have the concept because you don't have a personal integrative relationship with the phenomenon of sex. So it's the same thing with Ifa and Arisha. People will say, well, if you read so-and-so's book, they said this and so-and-so says this. Do you have an integrative relationship with the energies that we're speaking of? So if I say something like you can use sperm in ritual, do you even know where that's coming from? And this is one of the reasons why, and I'm going to say it in more than one video, I'm getting ready to exit out of this YouTube universe as far as giving the amount of information that I give, because I am casting pearls to swine. You're going to hear me say that again. I'm going to do another video just speaking about that. I'm going to shift more to the podcast arena. I already have the podcast and I've been neglecting them, but I'm going to spend more time there because the stupid comments, the trolling and things like that, it's distracting and it's disrespectful. And I'm not one to just keep myself in the space of disrespect because if I if I say something, if I say something back, then I'm going to look like I'm the petty one. I know I know how this game works. You get to you have a faceless profile, just an initial or something. You get to say whatever you want to say. And as soon as I tell you to shut the F up or or this or that, which is what you deserve to be told, then now I'm petty. So I know that game and I never I never fall for it. But the thing is. Like I said, I'm casting pearls to swine. So we're going to shift from this space soon enough. And plus on in this environment, it's a lot of things that you cannot um, really say. But we just got a lot of dumb people who don't know the tradition and think they know the tradition. And they're coming in with stuff that's, you know, irrelevant, you know, or you're saying certain things and you immediately let me know that you're a neophyte. There's certain things you say off the bat, and I already know you don't know what you're talking about. And I don't call people out on that because I would be indicting whole traditions. There's certain traditions that are not Ifa. I don't care how, how you know, I got one guy chasing me now. He's, he's, he's lurking on all my stuff on IG. And I might say his name one day, but I don't even want to give him that, that credit because he's his empire is crumbling. So he's he's latching on. But he's in he's in a tradition that is a perversion of real Ifa. And he's trying to, <laughs> you know, he's not citing anything specifically that I ever say or teach. He just wants me to engage him so we can go back and forth. But if you're really invested and you have a love for this for this culture and for this lifestyle and for this understanding, you're not going to waste your time with debates, you know, because I want you who are listening. I want you all to be juggernauts in this information. I want to be a juggernaut. I want the person who's going to listen to this a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. I want everyone to be juggernauts. And that creates a stronger body of work for Ifa and for Arisha culture and Ifa, you know, understanding. It's not about exposing and arguing amongst ourselves. Oh, you said that wrong. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. No. You know, if you say something that's that's crazy, <laughs> you know, I might, if I have the time, I'll say, hey, you might want to check this out. Good work. You know, I, I, I'm glad that your effort is there, but check this out. You might want to look at this. And if you say, nah, get out my face, chief. All right, well, hey, you know, it, it is what it is. But I'm not going to try to knock your legs from under you publicly. That's an agent action. I don't do that. Okay. So now with that said, this is why so many people are confused because of what I'm about to share with you. I got a message on IG recently. All right. 
and the message was from um i don't i don't i want to say a woman i don't know you never really know on social media because you can't you know people can put up fake profiles but the name of the individual was priestess ifayemi priestess ifayemi priestess underscore ifayemi is the is the social media handle right and I saw when they first started following me. Okay, a lot of people follow me, so I don't, you know. I mean, not a whole lot. I don't even have 2,000 followers on IG. So I don't have a huge thing. But, you know, I, I have over 1,000, right? So, you know, I didn't really pay any attention to it. And she sent me, a, or it, I don't know if it was a male or a female, and I'm going to tell you why. Sent me a, a message on, let me see. This is, I'm looking at it, Thursday at 11.29 a.m. And of course, um, these these images are on your screen, so you can see them. Uh, so I like to say I have receipts, right? <laughs> so you know, Abu Aboye, uh, this is what she sent, or Priestess Ifayemi sent to me. Abu Aboye, may the peace of the ancestors be with you, right? So I didn't respond right away because I usually when I get messages like that, I don't even really respond because I know. I know you I know you're leading up. You're not just greeting me. You want something. You know, even when sometimes people jump in my inbox, hey chief, you know, love your work. And I would love to say, Oh, thank you. But sometimes just that thank you leads to some BS. Hey, let me ask you a quick question. Not, hey, let me sign up for a consultation because your time is worth something. No, let me try to get a free consultation inside of your inbox. And then I gotta ignore you. You know, or say Go sign up for a consultation, which, of course, you're not going to do because you already knew that's what you were supposed to do when you're trying to be slick. So most of the time, I don't even respond. But it was sitting there for a while, and I said, all right, let me just, yeah, you know, respond. So I just responded, uh, the same to you. So then she said, and I'm just going to use she because I don't really know, right? She said, uh, I am Priestess Ifayemi from West Africa. So I just responded, okay, right? Because I, I know where this is I know where this is going, right? Some of you have got probably gotten similar ones. Um and the answer was uh I mean, no, I'm sorry. Then she said, How about your spiritual life? Right? Let me go to the next one. So how about your spiritual life? That was a question. So I said, What are what are you asking me? exactly because like don't come at me like you you know i know what you're doing let's just ask the question so i can hurry up and shoot you down because you do not belong in my inbox if you some type of priestess or priest we'll get to that what are you asking me exactly was my response you could should be able to see it on the screen i'm just reading it out for those of you in the gym or whatever working out while you're listening to this um and then she said about your spiritual power and protection so now, at this point, I was going to just either block the person or say, I'm good, no thank you, bye, and then block them. But I said, you know what? This is a learning moment, or a teaching moment, rather. Because sometimes, as you guys know, those of you who follow me on Facebook and stuff, sometimes I'll engage a troll. I've done whole shows about how I've engaged trolls just for you to see something, for you to see either how to handle a situation like that or for me to be able to highlight a point. So I said, you know what? I'm going to play along. So I responded, I feel it is fine. Why? She responded, good. That is why the ancestors send me to you because you have a spiritual problem and it has been affecting you from getting all your blessings. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, you know, like like even when I'm when I'm on the continent and people try to come at me with the con, I always have to remind them like I'm from the place where that was invented. You you can't you're not going to get me with your little weak West African or South African or East African or another African or Central African con. Hey, my man. Hey, cuz you don't even be saying the words right. You know, hey, my nigga, hey, hey, what's up, nigga, yeah, 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 America, America, yeah, yeah. Get away from me with that stupidness, you know what I mean? And then try to, hey, you want, you, you smoke, you smoke, uh-huh, you want smoke? No, nah, I don't want no smoke, I'm good, man, I'm good. No, no, you want girl, you want a girl? No, nah, I don't need no girl, man, I can get girls on my own. 
Oh, hey, man, help, well, help me out. Help me out. Come on, be, give a blessing. Give a blessing to Africa. Give Africa a blessing. Come on. Be a blessing. You come from America. Be a blessing to your brother. See, me and you, we're the same. We're the same. We're brothers. We're brothers. The F out of here. You know, we can. And I always say, listen, don't come at me with that, man. Not only am I, am I coming from America, I'm coming from New York City. You're trying to do what we invented. You can't get me with that. And of course, a lot of times they're so dumb, they won't stop. They just keep going. Like this individual. Wasn't even smart enough to look through my profile and see like, I'm not some neophyte. But, okay. So, I played along. I said, okay, let, let me use this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a whole thing out of this. So, I said, I feel it is fine. Why? She said, good. That is why the ancestors sent me to you because you have a spiritual problem and it has been affecting you from getting all of your blessings. <laughs> so, I responded and I said, wow, how did you know that? question mark you know <laughs> and um she said even you yourself know it that you are not where you are supposed to be <laughs> it's con game who is where they're supposed to be in life everybody wants to be somewhere that they're currently not come on you know it's just the game so then I said, okay, let me let me turn it up a, let me turn it up a notch because I don't want to sit in my inbox I, I'm busy I got things to do and this is over the course of, of days, right? This is happening. So so the next day I say, okay, so what is my first step? Because I knew, you know, like, let's just get right to it. Let me just play super eager, super dumb. You know, let's just get, because I want to I wanna do this video. <laughs> the video I'm doing right now, I want to I wanna be able to share this. So I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you all day because I already know you're a con person. Now, this is a scam. People are talking about, oh, yeah, he's a scam artist. Which was so stupid when I saw that comment. What am I scamming you of? Almost a thousand free videos of, of deep Ifa information. My information isn't weak. I mean, I don't mean to be sound boisterous, but deep Ifa information and interviews and all kind of things for free. What am I? What, what am I scamming you of? I'm. I'm. You know. I yeah. I have courses and things like that, but I don't even push the courses. The links are in the videos, but I never even say at the end of every segment, "Hey, and if you want to sign up for a course, look at the description." And I don't even say any of that stuff. Half my videos aren't even monetized, and I don't get much anyway. The little YouTube check, like, it's not really. It's not much because I don't put out videos often enough to get a, a fat enough check. I don't get much. It doesn't even it doesn't even pay the cell phone bill. <laughs> You know, so what exactly am I scamming? You know, it's, people don't know what words mean. They just, they, you know what, they're, they're dim with it. You got a lot of dim with it people online who don't, they don't know what the word con man means or what scam artists mean. They just throw these words out there and because they have a platform to type, they do their thing. But anyway, so I say, so what is my first step? She or he, I don't know what it is, says, it's sacrifice and prayer. I will perform for you to cast away the spell on you and the sacrifice will take place inside the temple at midnight and the sacrifice will contain some traditional materials and some other things needed that we will buy in the local market here. Send me your WhatsApp number so that I will call you to tell you the solution. All right. Now, let me start. Let me tell you straight up. Real priests do not do this. And I know a lot of you have gotten Facebook and IG messages like this because I've spoken to some of you. Let me get some of my tea. Real priests don't do this. You know, you don't go looking for clients or jumping into people's inbox talking about the ancestors gave me a message for you. That's total BS. None of you who are listening can ever say that I did that to you. You know, I've never in my entire experience as an Awo, not once did I ever go looking for clients. And there's nothing wrong with traveling, because Arumila traveled from town to town, letting people know he was in town who wanted readings and divination and things like that, and he built the following that way. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and I've not really even done that. But if I did, that's, I'm, that's cool. Rumila did it, I can do it. But jumping into people's inbox and like, hey, do you want a reading? Or do you? Real priests don't do that. 
or I have a message for you, or you're very troubled, my child, right? So she said, yeah, like I said, she said, send me your WhatsApp number so that I will call you to tell you the solution. And then even it, it's a sacrifice and a prayer I perform for you to cast away the spell on you. And the sacrifice will take place inside the temple at midnight. And the sacrifice will contain some traditional materials and some other things needed that we will buy in local market here. B.S. Total B.S. So I said, because remember, I'm, I'm, I'm playing it up now. And this, this all started, I think the date was on the last one. Today is uh, today's Sunday. So I think the first date was Thursday. Something like that. So this just this is just over the past couple of days. Um, so uh, I said, okay. I said, okay. Thank you so much. I don't have WhatsApp. I'm lying. I do have WhatsApp. I use it extensively. I love WhatsApp for business. You see me on WhatsApp. Don't contact me unless it's for business. But anyway, so I said, okay. Thank you so much. I don't have WhatsApp, but I will install it. How much does this cost? Because let's let's get to it. Let's, I, I know I know what this is. Let's get to it, right? So she or he, whatever, said. And the reason I'm saying she or he, because this just could be some dude scamming and took a picture of his auntie. Because there's a picture there of a female. Just could have took a picture of his auntie or something, you know, at a shrine and could just be playing. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't know. But anyway, so then I then okay then he or she says so the materials needed will cost you one hundred dollars and immediately I will buy them I will send you the picture of them before starting work on it so that you can see then after the sacrifice I will send you the sacrifice video to see the work that I have done on your behalf and I promise you that after the sacrifice you will thank the ancestor in your life because everything will be going well for you and you will be receiving your blessings that has been blocked all this time all right so so you see already they already got this spiel ready they got this down pat I take a picture of this and da, 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 da. right BS right and I, I hope you all are seeing this BS and if you've gotten gotten by an individual like this I, I you know I feel for you because I've had a lot of clients who have come to me with situations like this and I've had to untangle them from some of the stupidness that they've been told and a lot of times they stay stuck in it because the person will say there's a curse on you and then they'll come to me and I'll say there's no curse and then they'll say but 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 you know I don't know I'm just scared what if they're right the person was a con person. Why would you be questioning if a con person is right? I know, I know. But what if they are, you know, and it, they, they get stuck. All right. So they said that. So the materials needed will cost you $100 and immediately I will buy them. I will send you the picture of them before starting work on it so that you can see. Then after the sacrifice, I will send you the sacrifice video to see the work that I have done on your behalf. And I promise you that after the sacrifice, you will thank the ancestor in your life because everything will be going well for you. And you will be receiving your blessings that has been blocked all this while. And then the next text, next message. This is all still through IG, by the way. So I waited. Right, because I'm I'm busy. Any time you're going back and forth with your lying, trifling, conning behind, are you there? Right, because I there was a while, and I said yes. I'm sorry. I'm at work. I am at work. That sounds like a good price. How can I send it to you? Can you initiate me? Now anybody knows me knows I don't have a job. So <laughs> I mean I do work. So I, you know, so I, I'm at work. But I wanted to kind of imply that I'm a nine to five worker. That's why I say, yes, I'm sorry, I'm at work. So by me saying it also makes it sound like maybe I have a busy job. So maybe this person will think they hit the jackpot. And I'm doing, I'm saying little things like this to get them to open up more and to get them to expose themselves more, right? So um, I said, yes, I'm sorry, I'm at work. That sounds like a good price. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself now. How can I send it to you? Because I want to. I want to see if you want to. Are we going there? Are we going to do this? And then I say, can you initiate me? So let's see. Let's see how far you want to take this. So she ignored the question about initiation. She replied and said, "You can make the payment through World Remit." I said, "Okay, let me set that up." Now I just said that to give my to give myself some stall time, right? Because because it's it's so good. I don't want it to end. <laughs> so then she said may the peace of the ancestors be with you my beloved uh-huh oh she's she's so loving she cares for me 
So I responded and said, thank you. And it says it's in a smiley face, but I meant it. I wrote Ia, but the spell check turned it into it's. And the reason why I'm calling her Ia is because I want her to feel like I just bought into the, to the, the bullshit, right? I want her to think I bought. And if you look at early on, let me see, where's it at? Early on, she had called me her son. I'm trying to find it. I think it was the third text. When I said, wow, how did you know that? Yeah. When I said, wow, how did you know that? She said, it was in there somewhere. Even you and yourself know that is not where you're supposed to be. Maybe I'm missing a text in here. I might be missing one. Yeah, I think I'm missing one. I have to look through. Where's my Where's my phone? But anyway, I'm not gonna stretch that. But there was a, there was one part. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. There was one part where she called me her son. She was like, she answered a question, and she was like, um, something the ancestors know or something, my son. And you know, of course, that's 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 the BS. You know, that's the BS. That's 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 to to lock me. Okay, I'm reading it here. All right, so she said, Abu, Abu, yay, how about your spiritual life and protection? Good, that is why the answer is sending you because you have a spiritual problem. Here we go. I said, oh, okay, it got cut off on this thing. So you might not see it on the video. I'll try to fix that. So I said, um, because I took screenshots. I'm reading from the screenshots that I took, but I guess I I blocked it off. I mean, I cut it off from one of the screenshots. But now I'm I'm reading it direct from my IG inbox. So after I said, wow, how did you know that? She said, my son, the ancestors see more than us. (laughs) And then she said, even you yourself know it, that you are not where you're supposed to be. I think I, I told you guys that part, right? So yeah, I cut the my son. I and I got it. I'm gonna fix that before I put this video up because I got that part was that was the clincher for me. It's like ah, you think you got me? <laughs> you really think you got me with that my son garbage? So I said thank you. It, it's supposed to be Ia, but it says it's and she liked it. And then I said okay. No, she said then I she said let me know because time had passed. Maybe like a whole day at that point. Well, that's just because I was trying to figure out where I wanted to go next with it. You know, at this point, I'm just playing with my food, basically. So she said, let me know when you are ready for the sacrifice. I assure you that things will change in your life for the better. So I'm still trying to hit her up for the whole, like, can I be up under you thing, right? So then I say, okay, do you take on God children? She said, Yes, I do. I have God children who teach the ways of the ancestors. Now, whose ancestors? <clears throat> How do you know we have the same ancestors? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She says she's a priestess in West Africa. How do you know I'm from West Africa? I might not be from West Africa. We don't have the same. And even if I am from West Africa, we ain't got the same ancestors. You see, even if, 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 I'm, if I live, if my ancestors lived in West Africa, we don't have the same ancestors because those of us who ended up over here in the diaspora we were not native to west africa that's a whole nother thing that i won't get into right now but anyway this this is the game you know because i'm supposed to be some hungry american hungry to connect to the culture because i've not made it anywhere else in life so i need you to i need you to give me the stamp of approval so anyway she said yes i do have god children who teach the ways of the ancestors now you notice she ignored my question about her initiating me, but she wants to be my godmother. So what that means is, this is this is this is this is so much of a hoax. This is a person who probably doesn't even have any type of temple or shrine, or anything in West Africa, because it's not a person who ever wants to meet me face to face. Because initiation is where you're going to get the big money. I don't, you know, I don't know what kind of ritual you're doing for a hundred bucks, but initiation is where you're going to get the big money. But she doesn't want to do that. But the God child thing, she can just keep milking me. She can keep milking me and milking me. So uh, I said, wonderful, exclamation mark. I am so excited. <laughs> I don't even talk like that. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> but I'm trying to come off as extra gullible. So I said, wonderful, exclamation mark. I am so excited. 
I will get things started as soon as possible. Now, you see, I'm being kind of vague because I don't want to say, like, I'm going to send you. I mean, see, I'm not sending her any money. I'm not going to give her my, my phone number for her to be pestering me on WhatsApp. Um, so I'm just kind of keeping vague. So today at 3 a.m., today, this, and today I'm giving this podcast, she said, my son, it is very important we do the sacrifice on time. The ancestor is ready to help you now, so don't miss the chance. So this is an ongoing thing. So you can consider this like part one. I'm going to do another video, but I, I wanted to let you all go for this ride with me. So I think what I'm going to do, I might even type it now while I'm here. I think I'm going to say, um, what ancestor is it that is, um, that, is, that is working with me? Or what ancestor is, is trying to help me? And then what I might do is I might then say who it is. And see if she takes the bait Like I might say something like What ancestor is strong Because I feel like it's my grandfather Like my grandfather is always there But sometimes I see my grandmother She's a very tall dark woman My grandmother wasn't a very tall dark woman But I'll just say something like that Right And just see if she says Yes it's a tall dark woman <laughs> So I'm going I'm to I'm play it a little bit So I'm going to send her Today is Sunday It's about It's 12.35 p.m. So um, I'm going to send her another message. I'm still stretching this out a little bit. I got to come up with a reason why I didn't send the money yet. Right. So I'm probably going to say something like, um, uh, I need your information to send the money. I went to World Remit or whatever, uh, or there's an office not far from me. And I'm going to have, and I, I'm gonna, oh, I'm going to say something like this. I'm going to say, uh, there's a World Remit office near me. And I asked my boss on my job if he can advance me my, my pay this week uh, of $100. And he said, yes, that's fine. So I want to see if she says, oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> you know, if you're struggling, don't do it. But that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say something like that. So could you give me your information so I can send it to you? That's probably going to be my next message. And then I'll do another video explaining. So, you know, what or reading, sharing what the response is. So again, this is not what priests and priestesses do. This is a con this this is a scam artist. This is a scam artist. This is a con person, right? And now let me tell you something. Matter of fact, let me let me let me fix my statement. Priests and priestesses do this type of action. Authentic priests and priestesses don't do crap like this. All right. And this is probably a person who isn't even a priest or a priestess. But let's just but I have known priests and priestesses jump in people's inbox. I have known that. Ironically, it's usually the the male priests jump into the females' inboxes, the female priestess jump into the males' inboxes. You know, I've been witnessing that for a long time and they always start with, you know, the ancestors have a message for you or there's a curse on your life and I need to remove it or you need to get a reading from me. Don't worry, I'm not going to charge you. But then you're going to get charged for some fictitious work. Again, and I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. I get my money from magic. Now, yes, I do own several businesses that none of you know anything about and you never will. It's none of your business. Right. But I do own several businesses. Right. And that's my bread and butter. But even if and, and there's nothing wrong with making your spiritual work a career, nothing. A room even speaks about being, you know, being a career you didn't hear about Orumila being a blacksmith and a farmer and doing divination his career was divination you know so there's nothing whatsoever wrong with that as long as you can maintain your integrity while doing it but you got to use magic to get your money so what do I mean by that there was a time when all I was doing when I decided I just wanted to do spiritual work I did I did go through a time like that um and I did rituals every single day to bring in people to work with, to let people know that I, and not to cause calamity in people's lives, but to let people know that they have issues and want readings, they can come to me, right? I did ritual and the rituals work because my rituals always work, right? So they always work. So that's how I was able to build wealth doing just spiritual work, right? Not um, Facebook ads or, 
you know, I mean, this is before really Facebook ads, but, you know, I'm just giving you a relevant example. But, you know, not me going around and trying to con people or running up to people in botanicas and like, you know what, uh, the spirits have a message for me to give to you. Because yeah. that, that would be the earlier form of this now social media thing. Before it would be you go to a bimbe or you go to a botanica and somebody comes up to you and starts telling you a bunch of crap. And people can intuit things. You see what I mean? It's not always that they have this great spiritual power. Sometimes people are just very intuitive. You might look sad or you might look lonely or they'll, they'll say, well, hey, they, they run up to a female. It's Friday night. She's in the botanica. She ain't got no man. Just like if you ever go to Whole Foods, go to Whole Foods on a Friday night. And sometimes you see women in there sitting and eating 10 o'clock at night, right before they're getting ready to close up. They don't have a man. And nobody asked them out on a date. You're looking at a single woman. Right now, you can intuit that. So if I wanted to be slick, I could go up to that woman and say, you know, I know you've been looking for something in your life. You've been looking for someone to share your life with. The spirits have shared that with me. And that person is right around the corner. But there's some things you need to let go of first in order to receive that person. Everybody needs to let go of something. That's easy. You know what I mean? So people can play a lot of different games like that, right? This person isn't even sophisticated because they should have at least went through my profile and picked up on something. Like, you're a priest, however, um, you want to do, you want, like, you, I don't even know how to do the con, but I would think, like, you want to take what you're doing to the next level and, you know, uh, the spirits are saying they want you to go to the next level, but there's a blockage. Something. Not some generic, at least give me enough respect to give me a custom tailored con. Don't give me a generic, no frills con. I want I want my own con. I don't want the con that you share with everybody else. You know, that's just, it's used up, used up con, you know. So, like I said, this person contacted me. I might even, I'm going to type this right now. I'm going to say, no, 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 I think because I don't want to mess it up. What did I say I was going to say? I found a world remit office actually let me look up where we met because i know where we met i've seen the signs before but let me make sure it's not just an online thing so that way i got i got to keep my counter lies tight because <laughs> she might say oh you could just do it online and i want to be able to say no it's better for me to do it in person because i get paid and i'm just if she says that, i'll say oh, i only get paid in cash on my job so i have to go and do it you know what i mean and maybe i might even drop a hint as to what my job is or something so I make it sound like it's like maybe I don't have money right now, but it's lucrative. So I, I want to see if that brings out the devil in her. And don't worry, eventually I'm I'm a, I'm a outer eventually, but I'm gonna use this as a learning moment for you, so you can see how you deal with this stuff. But you know, um, again, this is what happens on the internet. You have people, whether it's trolls and comments, who just pop up and think they know everything and know nothing, nothing. It's like the it's like the 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 numbers that most honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us are very accurate. 85% are deaf, dumb, and blind. You know, 5% are the poor, righteous te teachers, and the 10% know the truth and use the truth to beguile others. You know, so even if you look at that number, there's only 15% who actually know the truth. And 85% don't know anything. And if you look in the Ifa community, it's the same exact thing. I think the numbers are even worse, to be honest with you. I think it's like 2% who actually know what they're doing. I'm, I'm a keep it 100 with you that's why people in their comments to that video they they're telling stories who's the most powerful Risha? well this one's most powerful because if you read this story it says this one bested this one where the story come from that you're quoting what oh it came from a book what do you know about the person who wrote that book have you ever even been to nigeria Ever in your entire life, have you gone to any of these temples, any of these shrines in any of these regions in Nigeria and saw for yourself how these energies move? Have you had an integrative personal experience with any of these energies or are you just talking out of your behind because YouTube gave you an opportunity to respond to people who you should be sitting at their feet and thanking them for giving you free information? Which one? Now, I know there's people going to say, oh, that's arrogant. I don't care. You don't you don't know. And that's the problem. You know, like people can't be taught nowadays. So if I say something that is new to them immediately, it's, oh, you don't know what he's talking about because he's saying he using sperm and rituals. Well, dummy. And this is for the dummy who said that, who I've since blocked. What should I give Ogun? Cigars, hot pepper, dogs, 
roosters, chickens, palm oil, you know, uh, Obi, Atari. What, what should I give Ogun? All of the standards that you can read in every other damn Arisha book. See, that's the problem. You're just rehashing and regurgitating and no one's having a true metaphysical experience with any of these energies that know how this, these things work. Do you even know what's in your sperm before you start talking stupidness? Do you even know what the old priests in Nigeria did and used and their, and their practices? Did you know that sex magic is a part of Ifa? I bet you didn't even know that. No, you only know what you learned in, in your little weak temple Somewhere where somebody got from somebody who got from somebody who got from somebody who got and no one got it from the actual source. What is the source? The actual energies you sitting there dancing around. Nobody gets it from the actual source. So, you know, that's the problem. People bring their religion into these 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 understandings and these sciences and they don't understand that, you know, it like I said that in another video. This is a science person got offended. This is not a science. Well, you don't know what a science is then. That's the problem. You don't know what a science is. Too many people are focused on tradition. You're going to hear me say it a lot in the podcast. Because like I said, I'm not going off too much in YouTube anymore. Because like I said, it's a, it's a waste of information. It's a waste of my time and energy. The, 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 the platform is not worthy of the information that I'm putting on it. Be 100. But, you know, the thing is... Do you even know what these things are that you're railing against? Do you know what these energies are? That you're about? Do you know why you offer certain things? Why do you give Ogun cigars? Why do you give him peppers? Why do you give him water at times? Hey, why do you give Ogun oyin or honey at times? Some people think you only give honey to Oshun. Why is it certain certain abos you give oyin to Ogun? Why do you use snail water? Why is snail water so important? Hey, let's try this one. What color is snail water supposed to be? And for those of you who don't know, blue. I went somewhere once and they said they had some snail water. I saw the snail water was yellow. I said, what the heck is this? Mucus? It's not snail water. Do you even know why it's blue? Or why a snail is so significant? You, you see, so... You got to learn. And if you don't want to learn, then you can keep bouncing around this, the weak information and wondering why you haven't been able and no one's really been able to build a strong hole in terms of Ifa. And then when you go back to the continent, you get robbed and conned because you refuse to approach these sciences from a metaphysical perspective. And every quote unquote religion has different sides of it. Even Islam has Sufism. Christianity has, has Kabbalah. You see, or, or I, should, I, I could say Christianity or, or I could say just, you know, um, Hebraic law has the Kabbalah. Everything has a deeper side to it. You see, every tradition has a scientist of it and those that keep the tradition of it. And the problem is always going to be tradition. Tradition is, is, is hell. Because as soon as something comes up that can evolve or not even evolve, but shed light on how something should be, the first thing you're going to talk about, well, our tradition is, and this is how we've normally done things. This is how we've historically done things. So tradition always ends up undermining your growth and evolution. All right. But anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to respond to this individual. We're going to have some fun with this person. And you, know, you can leave in the comments suggestions of what you want me to say there. Matter of fact, I'll wait for that. I'm going to put the video up. And I'll maybe I'll just say, uh, give me one second, E.I. Um, I don't know. I'll make up an excuse why I'm not responding right away just to keep her on the hook. <laughs> she thinks she got me on the hook. I got her on the hook. And then you can leave comments on what you think I should say next. <laughs> We're going to have fun with this person. You know why? Because this, this, this person is trying to have fun with my money. <laughs> so the hunter is now getting hunted and doesn't even know it. All right, everyone. So enjoy your day and just think about the things that I said and just, you know, I'm preparing you for when the shift comes because I'm not going to be up here too much with this, you know, because the comments are just too stupid at this point. And, you know, like I said, if I put a link to a podcast and everyone's commenting on the actual link without even listening to the podcast and who am I really talking to? 
why am I speaking like I'm speaking to scholars and, and I'm not? I'm, I'm speaking to people who won't even read a description or see right in the title, go to the podcast. So I spend most of my time talking to my our new people because I hold them to a, a higher standard. And, you know, the rest, the best to you and, and everything. But, you know, this level of learning isn't for everyone because some people just want the tradition. And they don't understand when the tradition begins and when it when it evolves itself. You know, at what year do we say the tradition started here? You don't know, right? All right. So uh, that's that. This is Chief Yuya signing out. And um, again, remember, I have a, a Risha book, a couple of Risha books coming forth. You'll get some more information on that soon. But they will be posted on theorisha.com when they come forth, right? So if I'm scamming, I'm scamming. Uh, perspective books I ain't, I haven't even released yet <laughs> with all this good information I just gave you and you know you got to discern when I when I'm speaking or any other teacher listen to every single word that's that's said there's a lot of game if you really listen to someone who knows this stuff there's a lot you can pick up if you just be quiet and listen and stop thinking while the person is talking because your thinking is what disrupts your learning just listen some of you just learned the real color of snail water. So now no one can get you on that one. Some of you. You see, some of you have learned, you know, um, that you can give Ogun honey. So you might go research that now. You might have never heard that. But some will say, you can't give Ogun honey. Why would you give something sweet to such a hot warrior energy? Warrior energies don't take sweet. Th-. You know, you get those dummies and that's why we are going to be coming off of youtube so even with our 10,000 plus subscribers which i'm appreciative of but i'm going to post different kind of stuff here you know but straight teaching no cuz it this this platform just it's not it's not for that to be honest it's not for that because it's free here and when people get all this free stuff they don't know how to act so they look at the next channel that gives you free garbage and this channel that gives you free ambrosia and they're like, oh, it's the same thing. It's all free. So it must not be any real value to it or chief must not have any value. So let me get on his channel and start disrespecting him because he's giving it away for free. So he must not be worth anything. But I do know my worth and I know the worth of what I'm sharing. So you blew it. You messed it up for everybody else. Anyway, but that's not for a little while. So don't worry. Enjoy it while it's here. All right. And I'm going to I'm going to wait for your responses for Miss Priestess Ifayemi. And nobody. Listen, y'all better not go on to IG and warn her either. I gave her name for a reason. I want you to know I'm not making it up or anything like that. And you can go check out her profile for yourself. But don't go warn her. We're going to have some fun with this because you I've already shown that she's a crook. I've already shown you. You know what I mean? So she she deserves whatever's coming. I'm I'm not going to do any spiritual work on anything like that. If it's a her, I'm just going to see how much of a of a monkey she wants to make out of herself. You know, um, and then I'm going to put the monkey in the cage. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to put her in the cage. You know, so but I want you to learn um, how this goes because I I talk to a lot of you who get fooled with the same thing. A lot of you. So I want you to see how you handle these type of situations. All right. Until such time, this is Chief Yuya signing out. Odabo.